All right, hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be covering a topic that so many people have had issues with. Probably every single person who's owned a fish tank has had this problem. Fresh water, salt water, anything that holds water, you've probably dealt with this issue. And that is cloudy water. Now, there's three main types of cloudy water. There is bacterial. It's basically where the bacteria in your tank overpopulates and populates in the water column, meaning the water looks like milky cloudy and that's the bacteria you're seeing. The next kind of cloudy water is actually particulates, meaning your filter is not effective and it's not removing contaminants from the water. There's a lot of particles flowing around, that being fish food, fish poop, stuff like that, just all still in your water column. And the last cause of cloudy water is gonna be algae, an algae bloom. Similar to a bacterial bloom, the water is full of algae or the water column is full of algae, making the water look completely green. Now, all three of these issues are very, very easy to solve and that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be walking you through exactly how to solve each of these issues. So let's start off with a bacterial bloom. Now, like I said, this is bacteria colonizing in your water. Basically, you probably have a new tank. This mainly happens to new aquarium keepers because they don't have the bacteria established in their tank. But there's a few very easy ways to fix this. The first thing is gonna be get a bacteria supplement. There's a plane going over right now, hold on. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, the plane passed. So, a bacterial bloom, that's where we were. Now that's, like I said, bacteria in your water. Now, a way to solve this that's actually worked pretty well in the past for me is getting a bacteria supplement and introducing it into the water column. I use the Top Fin Bacteria Supplement. I know Dr. Tim's makes a really good one. I know Fritz Turbo Start's also pretty good. And those will just jumpstart the bacteria colonization to help a little bit with the bacteria bloom that's going on in your water. It might sound a little counterintuitive, but give it time and it will work. Now, if you want immediate results, get a UV sterilizer. Now, a UV sterilizer comes in a few different parts, as you can see. We have the main UV sterilizer itself, we have the UV bulb, and then the power supply. Now what a UV sterilizer does is it passes water from your return pump or from the exit of your filter through the UV sterilizer, sterilizing the water. This kills bacteria, this kills algae, this kills even some fish diseases. So a UV sterilizer is a very, very effective water clarifier. The one I've used is by Aqua UV. It's a very reputable brand and I would highly recommend it. It's made of super high quality plastics and all the fittings are included. The one I have set up on my reef tank is rated for a reef tank, so it is very large. It's about 20 inches, I believe, and it's probably a lot bigger than you would need if you had a freshwater aquarium. I know for a fact that they make units smaller for freshwater aquariums that will provide the exact same great sterilization benefits, but just in a smaller form factor for smaller aquariums. So not only will that UV sterilizer take care of the bacterial bloom, that it will also take care of an algae bloom, make basically meaning green water. Another way to prevent this is to check your phosphates and your nitrates and make sure they're not too high. Also to get rid of both the bacteria bloom and an algae bloom temporarily, water changes work good. It dilutes the bacteria, it dilutes the algae, and it will help a lot with the clarity of the water. So that's gonna be my biggest tips for an algae bloom and a bacterial bloom is get a UV sterilizer. Not only will the UV sterilizer clear up a bacteria bloom aquarium or an aquarium that has a bacterial bloom or an aquarium that has an algae bloom, it will also keep it away and it can also prevent fish diseases. So I'd highly recommend plumbing a UV sterilizer into your aquarium. So now running into my 120 gallon reef tank, I just wanna show you how I have my UV sterilizer plumbed up and then talk about some concerns that come with these units. It might be hard for you to see, but this is the inlet. But here is the unit from the side. This end right here plugs into my reef tank. Now, some issues or concerns I should say people have with these units is that when having a bacterial bloom, this unit will kill off all the good bacteria. And that is true, this unit will kill any bacteria in the water. But that's not where you want your bacteria because obviously that makes the tank look cloudy. You want your bacteria to colonize in your substrate, in your actual filter, and in your rocks or decor or whatever you got going on in the tank. So technically your water should not have bacteria in it. Your rocks, your decor, your gravel, and your filter should. So this unit over time, it's not like it's gonna hurt your tank. UV sterilizers aren't gonna like kill off bacteria that needs to be in your tank because the good bacteria that needs to be in your tank shouldn't be suspended in the water column anyway. But basically clean sterilized water comes out of these jets and then dirty water is sucked down to the drain right there. Now installation on this unit is pretty easy. As you can see, I simply have it hung behind the aquarium stand. This is the UV sterilizer bulb. You can see it right there. I have flexi pipe running from my pump to the unit and then the other end runs right back into my aquarium. You can install this in line on a canister filter and they even have the hang on back version which literally hangs in the back of your aquarium. 
Okay, so now that we've talked about bacteria and algae and how to get rid of them with a UV sterilizer, I'm gonna be showing you how to get rid of particles in your water with these. So now when particles are floating around in your water, you obviously need to manually remove them, and that's where something like this comes in. This is a filter sock. I run this on my salt water tank, and basically it's a filter bag. All the water that leaves the aquarium through the filtration system goes through this filter sock. This one's by Aquatic Experts. It's worked flawless for me, and I love their products. Now if you don't have a system that uses filter socks, you can use something like this. Like that. And what this is, is a two layer filter pad. So, this front layer is coarse and traps large debris, and then this layer on the back is a fine layer, which actually polishes the water and removes the smallest of contaminants, which is what you want. That will take all the particulates out of your water, leaving the water crystal clear. And then one more thing I utilize to make sure my water always stays clear from tannins, which is basically uh, things leaching into the water in freshwater aquariums that could be driftwood, is I use the Aquatic Experts Activated Carbon. This is their professional grade carbon. It goes through an extensive cleaning process to ensure it's clean. You never have to pre-rinse this stuff because it literally is the cleanest carbon I've ever seen. It's not dusty, it's nothing nasty like that. Dump it in a little filter bag. It comes with a filter bag when you buy it and then just toss it in your aquarium filter and your water will stay clear. This stuff works to remove contaminants from the water. So any excess chlorine, stuff like that in the water, this carbon will remove. Same thing with any heavy metals in the water. And then what I personally use a lot of carbon for in my aquarium is my freshwater tank with driftwood. Driftwood, as it kind of ages in the water, releases a lot of tannins, which can cause the water to look brown or yellow. Carbon reverses that by removing all of it from the water. Obviously leaving the water crystal clear, which is what we're going for here. So my biggest tip to you is if you are not using a fine filter pad or something fine to polish your water in your filter and you're dealing with cloudy water, that looks like things are floating around. Make sure your filter's properly sized. Make sure your filter's clean and has a proper flow rate running through it because dirty media can clog up the filter, thus not allowing water to flow through it, making your water cloudy. Then last but not least, make sure you have a good fine polishing media in there. It could really be anything. Foam works really good, especially these filter socks if you have a sump, and then that foam pad works really nice as well. They also have other like cut to fit kind of things, so there's really a lot of options there when you're looking for water clarifying filter media. Okay, and now last but not least, I'm gonna give you my three favorite tips on how to make sure your water is clear and stays clear. First thing is keep your aquarium away from a window. That extra light from the window will cause an algae bloom, causing green water in your tank. You don't want that. Make sure your tank is not close to a window. Next up is do not overfeed. The excess food can break down into ammonia, causing a bacterial bloom, or the food could just break down and pollute the water, creating particulates in the water. You definitely don't want that. And then last but not least, keep up on your water changes. I recommend bi-weekly water changes, so every other week of about 30 to 50% for fresh water. And then when you're doing your water changes, always make sure you use a water conditioner. This is Tank First by Aquatic Experts. Something I absolutely love about this is this flip top. When you're buying your water conditioner, this flip top is way more valuable than you think. It's just so much easier to just open the cap, dump a little bit in the tank, rather than unscrew the cap, try to measure it, dump it in, ends up dripping all down the bottle. Also, this water conditioner does not smell bad, unlike Prime, which is disgusting. It smells horrible. This stuff does basically everything Prime does, and it has no bad smell. And then once again, that flip top is absolutely amazing. So that is going to be it for this video. I need to get the ducks to stop screaming. Anyway, like I said, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. I'll have links to all the stuff I talked about down below, a UV sterilizer, different kind of filter pads for your aquarium filter, hang on back, canister filter sump, everything I got you covered in the links below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and good bye.